Welcome back to part three of my mini series for the Joy Toy Fear Assault Mecha, part of the Ninth Legion of the Mecha Cavalry. In part three, we are going to take a close look at the Mecha's weapon. For this, all purposes, we are just going to call it the Assault Rifle. As you can see, the Assault Rifle here is found in the bottom of the weapons styrofoam. Just go ahead and pull that out. Set that back there. This thing is a very large weapon. Very cool. So this is done in a like a flat black plastic. It has a silver wash over the black and it has a dark tan stock upper body the barrel front and just some brown here under the bottom which is still part of that front end but it's more of the one of the grip rails so this is the side of it so on the side of this on the front we have some pretty cool saying, blood for blood. You guys can see that. That's pretty awesome. And here in the back, we have a water decal that says warning. And it says something else, but that's pretty small and I can barely see it. So if you guys can see that, it's hard to see through the camera. Hopefully you guys can see. Probably says stay clear or something like that. Here is a close up of the paintwork or the silver wash on it. it makes it look like there's some sort of nice wear. There isn't any wear or wash on the brown or dark tan. Just a clip. There are some black spots on that part of the body there for some, maybe some wear. It's really cool as the front is drilled out. So it makes it look like a real weapon. So glad we don't have any orange blaze tip for that. For you, for the states here. Other side of the gun does not have that blood for blood on the front. So first off, this isn't actually just a piece of plastic. This is actually has some features to it. That's why I wanted to take a specific look at this because. I was hoping and I'm glad that there are some action features for this. So first off, part of the instructions here, the only part of the instruction that shows the assault rifle, this show, all it shows is the strap. It is plugged into the stock, into the base of the uh, front of the gun there. So that's all we have for instructions. As you can see here, this is a elastic type material. You can actually stretch it. There is a strap harness there, like a connector piece that you can actually adjust the strap for the length if you would like. On the back it has the same thing you can actually adjust for length just pull it through just like on your backpacks it's actually functioning very cool if you guys can see those little pieces there I'll try to get out all the black those are adjustable straps There. Now these two pieces are just plugged into the stock in here. Um, I am not going to remove those. Those come 
pre-assembled it looks like you might be able to but I am not the reason is being the materials for this seems to be a hard, a hard plastic and if that's a fan out clip to where it's pushed in and fans out and then you're pulling back on it it could break if you don't want the strap on your weapon and take it off and I would probably leave it off but to keep removing it I'm not going to do that besides it looks cool so the second feature of this is that if you look at the stock here it gets removable so it is really no need well I guess it would be need to remove that you just take that out if you wanted to have it without it Pretty cool. And it's pretty free flowing, so it's not going to break. Don't seem like you're having issues of doing that multiple times. One of the other cool features it has on the top of the gun, it has some rail systems here, here, and on the front, and there where scope is. And unfortunately, there's no accessories to. You know build on to this just slide on here or right here but they do include the scope which you can slide up and down this middle rail to wherever you would like it to sit if you want it in the middle I want it all the way back here and then you can actually remove it which I did not know pretty nice oh you could put it back there if you want look at that All right. So if it fits on the front, it does. It fits on the front, a little loose for that rail. It's not going to transition from this front rail to this middle rail, but it will transition from the black the middle to the the black middle to the black back part. But here it kind of hit something. I don't want to force it. But so you would go. You would want to insert it here to either go back or forward. Very nice. How about that, guys? It's pretty awesome, right? Well, then we have a rail system at the bottom here. But we do have this pin, this strap piece in a way. So if you'd ever want to try to put something on here, if they would make any accessories that you could put there, you'd have to remove this piece. Because it does, if you look at that, it looks like it's one of those pin things that's spread out once it's put in. I'd be very careful about removing that. Okay, so over up front here we have a grip. We have a very small rail system on the front. And this is kind of snug, so oh, that's why it's snug. You can actually remove that. That's why I thought maybe it'll fit here if you wanted to put it a, over a tighter way. But you're gonna have to remove this piece. It is definitely a smaller fit up there. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit there. Just trying to get an idea if there's two different sizes. That's um, gear. And it doesn't seem to want to go onto the top of there either. I know we'd never put this on her, but I'm just not for fit purposes. No, nope. it's very tight here. So that looks like about the same rail system. So you might be able to slide that there if you would like. Just have to remove that. It's very careful. Get this back on now. Yeah, that's tight. You can feel it. Be very careful. So that's also removable. Wow, that's pretty awesome, right? Well, that's not all. Check this out. You can remove the clip. And it has a painted round inside. That's freaking awesome.
Now what's really cool about this, let me go ahead and grab it wherever I deal with it. There is actually a place on your Mac to keep those. Now we have one. Okay. So on your Mac, on his chest, you have these four pouches here. You can see that there's, we have a total of four of these clips. And there's a spot here for your fourth one. And right now they have a piece of actual styrofoam in there. So you can take that out and put that in. Then you're probably thinking, why would I want to do that? Because I have no clip in my gun, right? Well, when you remove your mech from the actual styrofoam, you want to keep an eye out. Behind the mech, there's a piece sitting. And it's this piece. You're putting the one on. This is, this is a large magazine for your gun. So you have this option. And you have this option. It does have like a triangle here. Yellow triangle with an exclamation point in it. Okay, that's why I hope it's not blurry. There's some handles on both sides on the front there. Two handles on the back. It's the bottom. The other thing I think they missed on this was they should have painted the round in a very large magazine box here gold like they did that round that would have been a nice touch so what this looks like is you have to put it it isn't going to fit like this it sits sideways like this and you're probably going to want to orient it to where the bullet is facing front so you wouldn't want it this way you wouldn't want it this way. Which I don't think it fits anyway. It would. It doesn't look right. But if you put it facing with the round towards the front. What's going on here? There we go. So that's what that looks like. The thing about this too, it's kind of an extendable stock. If you want one to, but you don't want to put a lot of pressure on there. If you get farther you get out, the more uh, prone to breakage you're going to get. So it'd be kind of cool, also. And then, after if you use this large drum, I could show us here on the box, you can put your extra clip into the um, pack on his vest. Very nice. Now let's bring in our cavalry team. To show you how comparison how big this gun is. How about that? That's how long that gun is. More than three figures long. <laughs> And then, for size comparison, that's the gun. That's to the female, and it's to the male. They're about the same height regardless, but that's how big they are. That is huge for 118 to kill. Looks very cool. Imagine him trying to hold this bad boy. Impossible. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little special look at the Fear Mech Assault's Assault Rifle. It has a lot of playability. The, plastic, the material is kind of a harder plastic. I'd be careful on certain parts of the gun. I got one, the main thing I'd worry about is that strap taking those pins in and out. That's probably pretty much breakage. And then the actual grip here. Uh, mine's very, it may be different on different, mo um, different models, but mine's pretty snug. Um, and here, this is kind of free flowing. This one, and then the stock is nice and free flowing. And the clip fits in and out pretty good, no problems. So I'd watch removing this and this on mine at least. I'm not sure if that is the same for everybody. Maybe you'll get one that's tied up here and not tied there. Who knows? But it'd be very really nice if Tool Toy ever released some upgrade kits for some additional options, maybe for the rails here. Be pretty cool. Maybe even maybe different drums. Awesome. So if you guys enjoyed, like I said, look at this, uh, his assault rifle. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. And I do lots of reviews for Joy Toy, if you like this kind of stuff. Um, this is the third part of my mini series for the Fear of Mech. And we're still going to be going through lots more. So you want to subscribe so you don't miss it. Please like and share the video. Um, thanks for watching. Happy hunting. Keep collecting. And we'll see you in our next review.